Hello, welcome back to Dumb Thumbs Up PV. So today's video is this right here. Um, I just want these are wraps. These wraps are made by Ultra Decals. You can get them off eBay for you know pretty damn pretty damn good price, really. Um, and you can get them for the X Light Radio, and of course this one here is for the Fat Shark Dominator V2, V3, HD2, HD3s, and the SEs. This is my old SEs right here. I just wanted to fresh them up. I wanted to, you know, everything is getting kind of old and kind of plain, and I kind of like the unique look of of having. And not only that, these are matched. You know, they, they actually match now. I've used these wraps before. I used them with the QX7 from a different company called. Um, Right here, NX Graphics CA, and I would highly recommend this guy. This guy does a really great job on the template and stuff. This was so easy because, you know, the QX7 is so plain. It's just horrible. So, but, the, you know, this stuff's starting to get to be kind of plain for me, too. So, anyway, I would recommend that company. However, this company here, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the QX, the, the or I'm sorry, the little light here, x Light Radio, the template was really off. And it took a lot of work to do this. I mean, a lot of work. I line the I line the decal here on the front to the speaker, the screen, and the power button, but everything else was off. So I had to go back with an exacto knife, cut around the gimbals here, up here, around there, also to around the joystick button right here, and then I had to use quite a bit of heat too. So. I have an I have an 898D plus, which is a soldering station. Off you can get them off eBay for like 50, 60 bucks, and I would highly recommend. It. I've had mine for three years, but luckily the heat gun that comes with that has adjustable tips because you want to use a small tip and you don't want to go over 250 degrees. But I really had to work this. I mean, really stretch in, work in, shrink in the whole nine yards to get this to look somewhat decent. Um, the top decal right here was off on the wheels, so I had to cut around the wheels here on both sides. Um, you know, on the back here was, was really bad too. So what they did on here, instead of having a nice pattern right here that, to match the, the X light radio, they had a curve. So I had to cut all of that and get that tucked in there and heat it inside here. Um, also too, this side here was shorter than this side. So I had to cut this side and stretch this side. And you can see that here on the bottom around the USB and also the SD card. It's off. You can see how far it off it is. This here, something that should have taken an hour to do, took me three and a half hours, guys. So that's why it looks somewhat decent. It took three and a half hours to do this. It was crazy. So I do not recommend the decals for the x Light radio unless you just happen to like, you know, I don't know, the print. You know, honestly. Um, you know, that other company I mentioned, too, that... Um, nxgraphics.ca they also do and his templates are really really good so maybe maybe go there and see if you can find something um however the goggles wasn't so bad this only took me an hour to do which is normal and the only thing was off on this was this top decal um and what i had to do with that is really stretch it because it was too short so it lined up everything here but then it was too short. It was hitting the fan over here. So I had to stretch this middle little middle part right here, stretch this part, and get everything to line up over here. And you can see right here, it didn't line up very well on this button here. Um, but I didn't really have to do a lot of cutting and stuff on this. Um, this sticker here was too short, so I had to put some extra material. There was a decal for the door that I didn't use, so I just cut some of that, put it inside there, and shrunk it to that. Um, the door, I, you know, this door is a little short, like here's the edge of the door and here's the decal. I mean, they could have done a little bit better job there. And on the bottom where the decal kind of folds into the, to the nose piece, they did a perfect job on this side, but on this side they were short. So if this was a white set of goggles, you'd see all the white here, here, here. Yeah. All the way through the, yep, yeah, here, 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 and here. Um, so they didn't, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know if they copied someone else's template maybe they maybe they bought some of the uh, nx graphics and tried to copy their template and just got it off i don't i don't know i don't know how you can get your template off i mean if you test it once it's in the computer once it's on the table it should be perfect every single time so that's anyway that's that part of the review the ultra decals off of ebay um the other thing too is I, I want to point out in this in this video is the Al RX. So this is the newest version of the RX, Al RX. This is the newest hardware and firmware. And guys, I gotta tell you right now, straight up, 
This thing is a lot better than the old one, and the old one was really, really good. Um, my rapid fail finally died on me. Um, the lower receiver finally went to hell on me. And, you know, actually it was during my toothpick review. So when I did the full speed toothpick review, you can see some of the flight videos in there. I couldn't figure out for the life of me, what the heck's going on here? I mean, I just updated the firmware on here and I, it was horrible. Well, what it was is that the lower receiver was going out. It was, it went bad, but yet it was still showing up on the OSD a little bit. And so it was confusing the rapid fire algorithm because it needs both antennas. And so it was confusing it. If I, if I just turn off through the um, OSD, if I turn off the lower antenna, then it came through crystal clear on the top antenna, but you lose that rapid fire. So yeah, you know, 160 bucks and I've never been impressed with that product. Um, when I did the shootout video between the Owl RX and the Rapid Fire, they were pretty damn close if you go back and look at that review. In fact, even Stu at UAV Futures said the same thing. He really liked the work that I did on there. Um, but this one here outperforms the old one. So I think it's even closer to the Rapid Fire, and it's only 100 bucks. So And it comes with a lot better door. I mean, this is, this is not the printed door anymore. This is not that white printed door. This is really shiny and nice. So, um, the other part of the review today is the, the, this product right here. This is from UR UAB. So what this is, this is the, the foam padding around here, which is really, really nice. I mean, it's very comfortable stuff and the neck strap here. Um, I didn't really like the fact that underneath here, you can see underneath here, you have to, there's a, like a piece of Velcro type stuff that you have to basically glue to your goggles. I'm not kidding you. It didn't really come with any sticky stuff. It didn't come with any of that like nice 3M sticky stuff to stick to your goggles. You actually had to go back, kind of glue it. Not kind of, it really did. So I used, um, I just used this stuff here from the, the wife. This is a fingernail glue. And the reason I use this stuff as opposed to full on CA is because you can get it off there if you wanted, if you need to. Like if I wanted to take this apart, I could still get that stuff off. So once you put that on there, let it dry and then really work the nose piece area, by the way. Um, but I, I do like the padding. There is no light leak on it. I do, I do like that. Um, the neck, the head strap, it doesn't really have a lot of elasticity to it. Um, so maybe it won't wear out as much. I don't know. But it's easy to adjust. It's just Velcro right here. So it's really easy to adjust. You just pull this back and adjust it. I do like the fact that they did put the battery right here. It's really, really nice. It does fit the batteries very snug in here. So hopefully my batteries no longer droop down and everything else like in the past. So guys, that's the that's the today's video. Um, that's it. I got some stuff coming up. I, I got a build coming up. I got a bunch of stuff I'm waiting on shipping right now. I'm going to build another toothpick with some other kinds of motors and, and stuff like that. And so hopefully that stuff gets here real soon. And then uh, Banggood got a hold of me. They want to start sending me stuff again. And of course with affiliated links, which does help out to get more stuff to review and all that. But you know, here's the thing about Banggood that kills me. They want to send me free stuff to review, right? Okay. And that's fine and dandy. But then they, they ship it on the slow boat from China. And this is the problem I had before with them. So they ship me the items. Everybody else has already got it. In fact, the item they want to, they want to ship to me, um, Nick Burns has already got it. Um, Andy RC already got it. Um, I, I, pretty much your next door neighbor already got it. Everybody's already got it. So by the time I get it, which will be about two weeks from now, uh, what's the point of watching the damn video? I mean, I mean, granted, this is a non-monetarized channel, and I'm not a shill or a sock puppet. I'm not going to do that kind of crap. I told them that. In fact, I, you know, I don't know. They kind of quit talking to me on Facebook because I told them I wouldn't do that. But anyway, um, I don't know, guys. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Bang good. You know, that's the reason they quit shipping me stuff before is I, I just wouldn't shill for them. And by the time I got the stuff, nobody wanted to watch the videos anyway because it was already covered. I mean, it's been covered by everybody and their dog, including your neighbor. So that's what's been going on. But I do have a build coming up I think you'll be interested in. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button. Um, also, give me a, a thumbs up. That helps with the channel. Um, you know, your free entertainment here. If you do have commercials during my videos, guys, get yourself one of those ad blockers. They really work great, especially on Firefox. Hint, hint. So you don't have to watch uh, commercials anymore on YouTube. And you can do it also on your Android phone, by the way. So you don't, you know, it's not, it's not just your computer. 
Um, Xbox, you're kind of screwed. So anyway, guys, uh, you also hit the notification. It's a little bell right there, and it'll let you know if I got any videos coming out. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great night.